Hi, I'm Emily Chancellor with Austin Water Communications. We're here with Stephanie Sue, our operations manager in charge of water treatment plants today. Stephanie's going to give us a tour of Ulrich Water Treatment Plant. Stephanie, tell us what we're going to see today. Well, our staff at our water treatment plants have been really busy getting ready for the winter season. Um, as you know, uh, through Winter Storm Uri, we, we had to deal with um, almost a week's worth of uh, temperatures that were below freezing, and that, that did cause a lot of damage at our plants. Um, so it did give us the opportunity to really enhance our winterization process, and that's what we're doing right now to get ready for the winter season. Um, so if you'd like, I'll show you what we've been doing here at Ulrich. Yeah, sounds great. Let's go take a look. Okay, so tell us what supplies do you have on hand now for the upcoming winter season? Well, one of the first challenges we had uh, during Winter Storm Uri was gaining access to our plants. Our, our water treatment plants happen to be in locations where you have to kind of climb the, or drive a big hill to get to the facilities. So um, since the storm, we've made sure to have supplies of sand and de-icing fluid on hand to really make sure that we have a smooth driving surface. Um, another challenge that we had was um, having our staff ha uh, stay here 24-7 uh, to provide the adequate personnel necessary to operate the plant. So it was a heroic effort by our operations and maintenance staff, um, but also since the storm we've made sure to stock up on things like cots and bed linens, ready to eat meals, um, just to make sure that when we're in that, when we need it again, that we'll have all those supplies so that our staff can be here. Um, and then finally, um, as you can imagine, during the storm we had a lot of icy and slick surfaces. So our roads were slick, um, and then the, the metal grating, a lot of, we have a lot of metal walkways that we use to get to our basins. So um, because of that, we've uh, purchased um, spikes for our work boots, uh, tire chains for our trucks, again, to provide the safety for our, our personnel to, to do what they need to do here at the plant. Um, kind of what ties into uh, getting supplies is that we've applied some of a lot of our experiences from Winter Storm Uri to our standard operating procedures and really beef them up um, from a winterization and storm preparedness stand standpoint. And that, that way we know that we'll be ready for next time this, this happens. Thanks for all that work and thanks for the update. Let's go to the next stop. So our next stop is here at the Sludge Hopper. So tell us, why do we have sludge at a water treatment plant? Well, all three of our water treatment plants rely on lime softening for treatment, and that softens the water, but it also gets rid of things like silt and organic materials from the water that comes into the plant. Um, but it is also what gives us the great tasting and great water quality that Austin is known for. The byproduct of that lime uh, treatment process is um, lime residuals or sludge is what we call it sometimes and uh, this is collected at all of our plants um, and stored and then eventually uh, is disposed of through a hopper into sludge trucks and so um, that is a regular operation that happens several times and basically every day of the week. So during the winter storm was it tough getting those trucks in and out of the plants? Absolutely. As I mentioned, we had some icy road conditions, which made it really hard for our trucks to access the plant, and our trucks also don't work that well when the temperature is below freezing. So what we ended up having to do with the plants was really watch how we manage our sludge. We had to operate within the storage that we had on site, um, and, and knowing that we, went, we couldn't rely on sludge trucks to come and haul every day. Um, and so since the storm, we've been working on um, storage improvements and storage capabilities at our plants, as well as getting the trucks ready so that they can operate in the freezing temperatures. Thank you. Sounds great. Let's go to our next stop. All right, our next stop on the tour here, we're up on the basins here at the water treatment plant. We've got a lot of pipes around here. Tell me, Stephanie, how did they hold up during the winter storm Uri? Yeah, we do have a lot of pipes up here, it, and a lot of them are used to get chemicals to where they need to in the treatment process. Um, going into the storm, we had a lot of our exposed above ground piping professionally insulated, but really because of those sustained freezing temperatures, um, we did have issues with some of them freezing, um, bursting, and, and leaking um, throughout the, all of our plants. So I know you all have repaired all of those since then, and then what else have you done to prepare for the upcoming winter? Right, well, so actually during the storm, we had a couple of our chemical feed lines actually freeze 
and, and leak and, and burst and our guys here at the plant really jumped on them, got them repaired. Um, right after the storm, as temperatures were rising, um, we had more, more people on site, more hands on deck to help formally repair a lot of those lines. And then we actually used a lot of contractors to help us out with repairing and replacing a lot of lines that were just so badly damaged by, by, the, by the cracking and the leaks. Um, in addition to that, we also really got all of our pipelines um, professionally insulated. As part of that effort, we did a survey of a lot of our chemical feed systems, which tend to have a lot of above ground, small diameter piping that's really prone to the freeze damage, and also have made sure that those pipes are um, professionally insulated as well. Great, sounds like you're ready for winter this year. Mm -hmm. So I know you typically use winter time when wa customers are using less water to take some equipment out of service, do maintenance and cleaning. Uh, tell me more about that. Right, so um, summertime is actually our the normal peak usage time when a lot of our customers are using more water to water their lawns and deal with the heat. Um, and during winter time, we definitely have a, a pretty a substantial drop off um, in demand. And that's prime time for us to do a lot of winter maintenance that's, that's needed at our plants. Um, during winter storm Uri, um, the city of Austin experienced a high demand of usage and that was attributed a lot to dripping faucets and leakages due to broken pipes. So here at the plants during the storm, um, I would say one of our biggest challenges was the fact that we had some basins offline, again because we were capitalizing on, on the winter season to get our work done. Um, but that, that gave us some challenges as far as it related to increasing our production capacity when needed. So looking forward, how will you balance that need for more capacity in the winter and still get all your maintenance work done? Well, since the winter storm, we've been taking a more proactive approach uh, to really managing the scheduled construction and maintenance activities that are really necessary to keep our plants going kind of year round. Um, so we're managing that a lot more proactively and balancing that with the, the need to have basins online or at the ready to allow us to safely and easily um, increase our production when the need arises. Very good, thanks for that update. Let's go to our next stop on the tour. So for our last stop on the tour, we've moved over to a construction zone here. Stephanie, tell us what's going on. Right, so here at Ulrich, we are in the midst of construction of a new uh, power substation, which will provide additional reliability and resiliency um, for, the, for the Ulrich water treatment plant. And this is part of an ongoing program that we have for all of our plants to improve our resiliency. Uh, we're also actually just finishing up a power distribution upgrade project at the Davis Water Treatment Plant, which will do the same, improve our resiliency and power reliability at that plant as well. Well, thanks so much for the tour today. I know we all learned a lot, and we thank you for your efforts and everything you and your team are doing. Thanks.